I'm not a gun guy. It's not that I'm anti-gun. It's not that I'm against gun ownership. I'm not. Several of my friends are gun enthusiasts. They enjoy shooting for the test of skill that it offers. One in particular is an avid outdoorsman and hunter. But let's be clear, guns aren't my thing. Cameras are my thing. Airplanes are my thing. Guns aren't. But I know enough about guns to say with certainty that confiscating weapons like the AR-15 and its cousin, the AK-47, will have exactly the same impact on reducing mass shootings that banning plastic straws will have on environmental pollution, which is to say, none. The AR-15 has become a propaganda tool of the left. Demonization of inanimate objects, such as SUVs, drinking straws, in plastic shopping bags is a standard tactic of liberals. It allows them to avoid debating policy on the basis of empirical data and demonstrable facts. There are any number of readily available rifles that are much more powerful than an AR-15. Yet you don't hear politicians calling for their confiscation through mandatory buybacks. It is true that an AR-15's killing power derives in part from the fact that it will fire 30 rounds as quickly as one can pull the trigger 30 times. But any number of handguns can fire 16 to 18 rounds just as quickly. So here's the bottom line. Mass shootings in America are up for a complex set of reasons having to do with deep societal problems. Those problems will not yield easily to the prescriptions of posturing, pandering politicians. And Beta O'Rourke saying, hell yes, we're going to take your AR-15, is a classic example of a red herring. That's my word, what's yours? Go to youtellmetexas.com and you tell me. And follow me on Twitter, at Paul Gleiser.